Hey teacher friend, welcome back to my channel. My name's Molly and I'm a fifth grade teacher who helps other teachers just like you streamline your literacy block so you can spend more time teaching and less time prepping. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down how to do math daily three. I mainly talk about literacy here, but you know if you've been here for any amount of time that I love the Daily Five. Go back and watch any of those videos you've missed. I have a whole series on how to set up Daily Five no matter what grade you teach in elementary. The reason I wanna talk about Math Daily Three is because it's totally transformed the way I've taught math over the years. And since I've switched to fifth grade this current year, I can't imagine teaching math any other way and my students absolutely love it. So if you love daily five, you're already doing it, then the next step for you honestly is to try math daily three. It's even a little bit more simple in my opinion than daily five, but once you get the hang of it, I think both systems are so amazing and they help you be the best teacher that you can be. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to have to do with Math Daily 3 is set up expectations, just like you would inside of the Daily 5. There's also a whole section on this inside of the Daily 5 book, so be sure to check that book out if you don't currently own it. The expectations that I have set up for my fifth graders, but I also did this when I taught kindergarten and first grade for Math Daily 3, are to work the whole time. And we also do whole brain hand gestures, so work the whole time stay in one spot, level zero, get started right away and build our math stamina. And I have this chart made inside of my TPT store if you would like to have it already printed for you. You can go ahead and check that out. I'll leave it in the description box below. So a lot of times people will say like, well, what stations do you do during Math Daily 3? And I keep it really simple to just three stations. That's why it's called Math Daily 3. You can have other options available if you want it to be Math Daily 4, Math Daily 5, that's up to you. I find that 3 works really well for my fifth graders right now and it keeps things pretty simple. So during that time, they have Math with Teacher. So I have on my um, Excel spreadsheet that I have on the Smart Board, which is also in my Teachers Pay Teacher store, whether you like Google Sheets or Excel, I have both versions available and I can show you exactly how it works in my classroom, but it's projected up on the smart board so they know where they're going. MT is math with teacher. And then iPad means they get to do math on their iPad. So that could be ST math. This all depends on where you teach and what your district offers. But my my fifth graders practice math fact fluency. There's an app for that. They can do ST math. They can do Greg Tang games. And I often try to rotate in other games that I've previewed ahead of time to help them with math, but that are also fun. And they can also do everyday math games online. That's the math curriculum that we have. Something that I also do is I monitor what they're on during that time with Apple Classroom. I have my iPad pulled up so I can see what they're doing and they know that I'm watching them. And if they decide to do something they're not supposed to be doing, I will lock their iPad and take it away for the entire week. And then they can have other kinds of math practice that don't involve an iPad. So that's one way that you can have iPads as a useful tool, but they aren't making it harder on you as a teacher to manage. And the last choice I have them do is dice. This is also another thing I have inside of my TPT store. It is very simple. So it is just 16 squares on a piece of paper and the kids roll dice to practice their math facts. I have a very cool set of dice that goes all the way up to 20 sided because I have friends in my class that can do higher level thinking when it comes to math facts. I also have kids that still don't have automaticity with their addition facts. So this is something they can practice all year round and get really comfortable with. And they honestly, if they tell you they're bored, then that's too bad because it's really great practice for them. And also they probably need the practice. If they are higher level, then they can use the higher dice and they should never get bored with that. And sometimes we just need practice with automaticity to get better with things. So those are the three stations, math with teacher, dice and iPad, which means math games that entire time. When they're meeting with me with math with teacher, we are going through the everyday math lesson. So I'm having the tier one instruction the entire time, but my math groups are leveled based on their iReady assessment. So it's better for me 
as a teacher to work with smaller groups, I prefer it. And I notice that my kids' engagement is much higher when they feel like they're working in a zone that they can actually be successful in versus whole group. I tried a little whole group when I started fifth grade and I really didn't like it. I noticed the same kids answered every single question and that allowed my lower level kids to just completely tune out and then feel defeated that they didn't know. What I've noticed is when I started doing Math Daily 3, they absolutely loved it. And my lower level kids are blossoming and wanting to participate so much more than they ever would have in whole group. So I really encourage you to give it a try. Even if you're thinking, how can I get tier one instruction to all of them? You absolutely can. You just have to teach the lesson three times. And it's really not that big of a deal. You'll, you'll get better at it every time you do it and you'll find that you really love it. So all of my Math Daily 3 products are inside of my Teachers Pay Teacher store. If you'd like to check them out and see how they can make your math block run smoother, whether it's my choice board that I mentioned before that you can project on your smart board technology or the dice game, all of these things and the expectation chart are going to be linked below. Let me know in the comments, are you going to give Math Daily 3 a try? I'd love to see how it goes in your classroom and how much it transforms your learners into being more independent so you can get to all of your math groups. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.